Hey, what's happening, everybody? So, if you're depressed, if you're if you're down, if if you're anxious, if you're beating yourself up all the time, and especially if you're a Christian, you may be operating. No, you are operating in a generational curse. You have the curse. You're still operating in it. How do you get out of it? It's, it's tough. You got to become self-aware. How do you become self-aware? You're stuck in a rut. You, you can't you can't do what you want to do. It's it's Romans seven all all over. I know what you I know. You guys are feeling it. You know what you should be doing, but you you're not doing it. How come you can't do it? How come the the things that you want to do you can't do? It's because your mental game is off. <sighs> the way you feel about yourself. Oh man, your confidence, your self worth, you're just in a spiral because you're in this, you're in the generational curse, the family generational curse that, that made you believe those things about yourself, that makes you, you know, that makes you beat yourself up. Say, say, um, for the guys who are battling porn, like, man, you can really. It causes shame and you beat yourself up you know because that's what you're taught you know like you're, you're taught to to hate that part of yourself you know i need to i need to deny it to myself you know but really that person that part of you that's watching porn you don't realize that you want intimacy but what you're doing is you're you're just self-soothing there's a need that from the generational curse that wasn't met it, because of your family, your, your, your parents brought that to you. They gave it to you. They gave you that, that way of thinking. And then now you're stuck in this, this cycle of trying to get your needs met. And you don't know where it's coming from. And so what do you do? You try to fill it with other things. But you don't realize that God's saying, don't run, like you don't need to you don't need to run that person that's doing those things is the person that I need to love the most the person that watches porn you are you are self soothing you've been doing it for I don't know how long you know you've been drinking you know that's the way you learn to cope but you had to learn you had to cope how, what else are you gonna do to survive and God knows that and he wants to he wants to be that that need that that needs to be fulfilled in you. And it comes from childhood, and that's the curse. Once you realize that, whoa, my parent. Okay, I'm not trying to put the blood. Yes, I am. Is the parents need to take responsibility? And then once you know that, you don't pass it on to your kids. The generational curse stops with you. You show them unconditional love. They're not there for you. The kids aren't there for you. You're there for them. You're there to guide them, teach them in the ways of the Lord, discipline. Discipline doesn't just mean punishment. Discipline is guiding. With a firm rod that, that's, that stands for truth and real love, real intimacy. And you find that on the cross. You find that in Jesus' love. You find that there. And that's what breaks the generational curse. Once you know the love of the Father, you can't... Darkness can't comprehend it. It can't phase you. And you broke the curse and like it won't hit you, it won't hit your kids, it won't hit Man, God says it ends with you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Woo! I'm fired up because it's not gonna hit my kids, and that's all that matters. Because those kids are the blessings. That's why you gotta look at your kids. They're the blessings. They're the ones that are gonna teach you about yourself. They're the ones that are gonna help you grow because they're a reflection of who you are. Okay, if they're acting up, it's because you you acting up. You know, if they they're angry, you're angry. You need to deal with your anger. It's not it's not the kids' fault. You know, all the, <laughs> these baby boomers. Oh, those millennials. 
You are the ones who raised us. You're the ones who raised us. You raised us. <laughs> you raised us. And we can't, we got wise, we wise up to it. I know it's not just me. A lot of people are wise enough to it. Come on, let me know that you're out there, yo. Come on, some of you are feeling alone. I know, I, we feeling alone out here. Come on, we. Something's ha something's changing. But we're we're seeing we're seeing the generational curse even within Christianity. We're seeing it even in the in the in the holidays that we that we um that we uh, celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day, which is good to honor. Yes, honor your, fa your father and your mother. You know, in the ways of the Lord. And, and yes, you want to do that. But the fact that if my if I just look at the pictures of, of my daughter on Father's Day and I see the videos of us spending time having real intimacy, not just this, oh we we're going to a birthday party, oh this is a birthday party, we're doing all the, the we're doing all the activities, but you know, we're not really seeing each other, you know, on an emotional, intimate level where it's like I see your pain. I know what you're going through. I'm, I'm here for you. We're walking through this life together. Especially when people are reaching out. You know what I mean? Like, that's real intimacy. And then you, you see that. That's all I need. What else do I need? The, the joy of my child. And that's, that's the same joy that, that Christ, the joy set out to see that we, that, that we will be free in this love that perfect love cast out fear because there's no there's no fear of punishment because we're loved just 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 for us just for who we are and he sees that a lot of our a lot of our behavior and our sin stems just because we're broken <laughs> and he knows that and we don't he doesn't want us to die to that self he wants to die to the ego the fake part of us that that we come up with you know like me like all the all the characters that we watched you know it's just an amalgamation or, yeah amalgamation of like all those different characters that we came up with this that we thought was cool and we made a character and that's our ego you know that best fit what we want you know but that's not that's not that's the that's the physical part you know what i'm saying but, but that's another thing but i just want to encourage you that that um we can do we can do this you're not alone and i feel like god's giving me a guidebook i'm going through it right now I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be helpful, you know, I'm trying to uh, uh, do what I can, you know, because I know how it feels, and, I, and, and um, you know, I'm taking notes, and I'm writing it down, and, and I feel like I got a nice little process going, you know, uh, so um, shout out to um, Hamza, too, and it's funny, this young, this young guy, you know, like motivating people, you know, it's crazy because you know I've had I've had the Lord, you know, my whole life, and He's been there, but <laughs> just getting on this dude's YouTube, you know, really inspired me, you know, because I was like I was really I was really in Jeffrey mode, you know, when I I knew there's a, a hidden Adonis in there somewhere, you know, so <laughs> shout out to my boy Hamza doing big things and I, I I pray I pray for you and I and I wish you the best and in your in your in your improvement you know for you know being humble and self-reflecting and, and, and you know and not 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 afraid to uh, to be corrected you know because that's what we want to grow and that's we want truth and we want to grow and we want intimacy and that's what it's about so hope this guy hope this helps guys and um, love you <laughs>